Lavaca County. My name is Lauren Lundy. And my name is Rylan Mark. And today we're here to welcome you back to this edition of Have You Heard? Now for some local news. Hallettsville's Jonathan Brooks made his dream a reality as he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers on April 26. The whole community of Hallettsville is so proud of this man's dedication and resilience and we are excited to support him in the next steps of his career. The Hallettsville School Bond Propositions A and B were both passed. These two propositions will benefit numerous students for years to come. This year, July 29th through 31st, we here at HBNN will be hosting our first broadcast and film camp for students entering 5th through 11th grades. For more information or to sign up, contact Christy Opiella at 361-798-2242, extension 384. Let's go to Damari and Austin to hear the results of the state track meet and to learn more about our softball, baseball, and tennis teams. Hey there, Bramah fans. My name is Damar on Austin, and welcome to Sports on Have You Heard, where I recap the games from your Bramahs and Lady Bramah teams. Your Lady Bramahs softball team shut out the Natalia Mustangs in their second playoff game of the season last Thursday, winning 10-0 with a run rule in the fifth inning. Your Lady Bramahs began their regional game against Tidehaven yesterday in Columbus and will continue playing against against them tonight to decide if they'll play in the regional quarterfinals of the playoffs. Your Bramahs baseball team won fr last Friday, and Saturday against Randolph, winning 13-0, with a run rule in the fifth inning as well. They will begin their area play against Lytle and Carnes City tonight, and another game will be tomorrow to decide if they will play in a regional game. So come out and support both teams as they compete and get ready to show out. The HB golf team made history by competing at the state golf tourney on April 29th and 30th. Although the results were not as they hoped for, they, they had competed hard and finished strong, placing 10th at state. The Bramble track team had four Bramble boys who competed in the state track meet last Thursday in Austin. Those four boys composed of Lane Gerke, Caden Willis, Rayshon Sidney, and myself. Placing second in the 4x1 and first in the 4x2, which gave them the chance to claim the title of their entire meet, but that wasn't the case. They had tied the, for the title with our crosstown rivals, Yoakum, which gave both 361 teams the state championship title. Again, I'm Demar and Austin giving you your final sports sector of my senior year. So thank you for tuning in to Sports on Have You Heard. Have a wonderful summer. Now back to you, Rylan and Lauren. Thank you, Demarion. We are so excited to see our teams in action. Summer is just around the corner. Let's go to Monty to hear if the temperatures stay nice and warm. Good morning, Lavaca County. My name is Monty Thakman, and here's your weather forecast for the next 14 days. It will be partly cloudy all week long with a high of 92 and a low of 62. This weekend, we are looking at partly cloudy weather with highs in the lower 80s and lows in the 60s with a moderate breeze. This next week, we are looking at mostly cloudy and on Monday, there will be a 45% chance of rain. There is a high of 95 degrees and a low of 64 degrees all week. The hottest day will be Thursday next week having that high of 95. Have a great summer and stay cool. My name is Monty Thigpen. Back to Lauren and Ryan. Thanks, Monty. Let's go to Cody Bible and Summer Leopold to get some insight on the area SDEs. Hey there, Lavaca County. My name is Cody Bible. And my name is Summer Leopold. And welcome back to the final episode of Ag in Your World, brought to you by Houseville FFA and Houseville Brayman News Network. Congratulations to the CDE teams that advanced the state. The range, wildlife, farm, farm business management, ag sales, and the dairy judging teams. The Area 11 speaking contest was held on Friday, May 3rd. Congratulations to the speakers that bannered at Area. In junior prepared speaking, Ashlyn Puska, second in advancing the state. In extemporaneous speaking, Peyton Matheson, sixth. In agribusiness, Jake Kressler, second, and Darby Phillips, sixth. In ag technology and communications, Lainey Bluda, sixth. In natural resources, Aubrey Freitag, third. In plant science, Mallory Mays, 5th, and Chandler Wimberly, 6th. And in soil, soil stewardship, Alyssa Smith, 4th. Good luck to Allie Derringer running for area office this Friday, May 10th, at the area convention in Brenham. 
Every episode, we like to shine a spotlight on our outstanding FFA members. This spotlight goes to FFA member Allison Derringer. Allie is a junior and in her third year of FFA. In FFA, Allie has participated in the Ag Issues LDE and Poultry Judging, Veterinary Science, and Ag Sales CDEs. She also shows broilers at the Houtsville Junior Livestock Show and major shows. Allie was a Horizon District Officer the past school year, and she is running for area office. She is also involved in NHS, Rotary, Student Council, and Library Committee. And we'll close with Ag News of the Week. With the bird flu outbreak still going on, many people are worried about the milk supply. However, pasteurization inactivates the H5N1 virus in milk. Raw milk should be avoided at this time since cows have come down with the bird flu. Studies are showing that mammary gland tissues contain many receptors that the H5N1 virus attaches to, but brain and respiratory tissues contain far less receptors, which explains why the, flu, the virus only affects cows the way it does. There is very little evidence of cows with respiratory issues related to the bird flu and no reported cows with neurological issues. Bird flu is known to attack neurological tissues in other mammals, including cats. Scientists are now concerned that pigs could be a source of a new viral infection. Since pigs can be infected by both bird and human flu viruses, they could pose as mixing vessels for a brand new hybrid virus. This happens when both viruses are present in the animal and undergo a process called reassortment, which is where the viruses swap genetic material. This could pose a serious problem if the viruses actually do combine and form a hybrid strain. Thank you for tuning in to the last episode of Ag in Your World, brought to you by How to FFA. Now back to Lauren and Rylan. Thank you, Cody and Summer. We, we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Edward Jones, Shamrock Movers, Lavaca Title Company, TDECU, CH Graphics, Foreverlast, Benedettini Cabinets, City Motors in Edna, Plum Perfect Plumbing, Texas Elite Therapy, and Miss Judy Droz. If you or your company are interested in sponsoring us, please contact our advisor, Christy Opiella, at 361-798-2242, extension 384. We also want to wish the best of luck to Adeline Pohl and Brenna Scott as they compete at the state UIL academic meet. We hope everyone has a great summer. Hello, I'm Ty Tomek and I'm here with Zach Rahinke. Zach, as a senior, what advice would you give to the underclassmen? Some advice I'd give is just take it all in because these years they go by quick. Turn in all your paper, have fun, make memories. Absolutely. Thank I'm you. Here with Rebecca. Rebecca, what is your best memory throughout high school? Um, I would say my best memory is just cherishing every memory with my friends and like growing new bonds where like some friends aren't your friends, but then you wind up finding a new friend. So like it's a win-win. Always go out and like put yourself out there. Don't like be a loner, I guess. But yeah, that's my favorite memory is just building new bonds. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. Kelly Cato. Kelly, who has been your favorite teacher so far throughout your high school career? Probably Miss Opiella. Why is that? Because she's always here to help us when we need it the most. Absolutely. Thank you. Hello. I'm here with Uncle Ricky. Uncle Ricky. What is the best advice you give to underclassmen this year? I would say the best advice that I have for the underclassmen would probably be uh, never give up. Always stick with it because you never really know what opportunities you will be given down the line. And as long as you're still going, you know. People are going to realize that and they're going to see your work ethic and it's really going to take you places. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm here with Rylan Mark. It's kind of weird because uh, somebody came in here looking just like you. I don't know. That's, that's anyway. funny because I don't have any siblings. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. Anyways, what is the best advice you give to underclassmen? I would say the best advice I could give to underclassmen would probably be take all the dual credit classes that you can because you might not be having a good time taking them while you're in high school, but you will be incredibly thankful that you did whenever you become a senior. I bet so. Thank you. I'm here with Summer Lippel. Summer, what is the best memory you've had through your four years of high school? Um, definitely going on all the FFA trips or all the trips at school just with like everybody making memories before we leave each other. Absolutely. Thank you. Once again, I'm Lauren Lundy. And I'm Ryla Mark. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of Have You Heard. See, See you, you next year. year.